<laughs> yeah. And it's just you just you can just see like how important these switches are to Kango since they are his father's work. Even so much as to say to say that he's quitting he quitting the Common Rider Club and he's no longer Gentaro's friend. Which sucks. We we finally got a solid friendship between these two, and he's just being a dick again. <laughs> I know. She was funny. Uh, after the appearance of the new Zodiac for this episode, uh, the dragon one, and Gantaro tries using the north and south magnet switches, and it doesn't exactly go well. <laughs> want to show that clip? I want to show that clip. All right, let's show that clip. <laughs> こうなったら絶対無理だ。うん。うわ、なんか出たぞ。自作した。何？あ、ね、なんだね。<笑> あ、失敗した。なんだ。最悪だ。危ない。はい、スイッチ切れ。無理だ。動けねえ。So he basically attracted everything around him except for the giant metal monster. <laughs> <laughs> Which begs the question, do you have to focus to do that or something? Because it doesn't... It's a magnet. It's supposed to attract everything, right? I mean... <laughs> Wouldn't it have attracted the power dizer too, since it was like standing directly over Gintaro? I have found a flaw in your scripted foes. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> not not even Meteor can't do any damage to this thing. Yeah, he's supposed to be the badass. He can punch people with planets for fuck's sake. Which begs the question: Why didn't he use the Jupiter module? I don't know. That is a good question. Like Jupiter or Saturn or Mars. That could use one of them, but he was an idiot and didn't do it. Or he wanted to see the magnet's power. It didn't work because his design failed and caused the magnet phone to team rocket. <laughs> Just blast it off for the first and last time. <laughs> And I don't, like the last line in that in the episode where Kengo's saying like like Gentaro deserved what happened to him. That's you. You just felt how cold, how much he meant it and how cold that sounded. He is not kidding around. He is pissed. Yeah. But coming right to foes. Good episode. Keep it up, bro. <laughs> God, it's gonna be such a big big week because in Gokaiger it's gonna be it looks like the final duel between the Gokaigers and Bosco and we get to see the magnet for the magnet magnet state for foes I'm, I'm pretty psyched about this <laughs> I, don't lie, I am as well and you can watch these episodes of Gokaiger and Kamen Rider on either Overtime or TV Nihon and speaking of which, it's time for the advertisement portion of the show where we whore ourselves out. <laughs> it's been a while. It, let's see how well this goes. <laughs> First off, if you want to watch Tokusatsu, you can check out Overtime Subs for Same Day Subs, and TV Nihon for more detailed subs and a much larger Tokusatsu library. But these two sites always update on the latest tokusatsu but if you don't feel like downloading anything 
check out Henshin Fever on Facebook. Just do a search for Henshin Fever, and they have episodes of almost every Common Rider series up for streaming, as well as Garo and Super Sentai and other Tokusatsu available. But if you're interested in collecting and owning Tokusatsu toys, check out CSToysJapan.com and HobbyLinkJapan at HLJ.com. Two great sites and two awesome distributors of Tokusatsu products. And if you're interested in just seeing Super Sentai, check out Super Sentai Planet for all 35 years of Super Sentai. And if you're interested in Power Rangers, check out Power Rangers Planet for all seasons of Power Rangers, including Samurai. And all the seasons... If you want. If you want. <laughs> but if, if you have a Netflix account, you can see all seasons of Power Rangers on Netflix, including Big Bad Beetleborgs and VR Troopers to other Saban adaptations of other Tokusatsu series. And if you have a Facebook, like the Kaisuko Sentai Go Kaiger and Kamen Rider Foes fan pages. Great places, they post news and such, pictures, funny stuff, and just great community overall. And also check out the new Tokume Sentai Go Busters fan page on Facebook as well. Headed up by the same people who run the Go Kaiger and Foes fan pages. And also, another shout out to JE Fusion, the Japanese entertainment blog, where we get all of our news stories for the Tokusatsu News Corner. And also, a shout out to our official sponsor, Game On. Game On is a little card trading site owned and operated by our good friend Chicken Wings. He's still got some stuff up for us, he's still working on stuff, still getting stuff together, but. I'm sure if you give him a private message, you, you can work out a deal, and he will tell you what he has, and he has a great selection of stuff, I know, because I got I got stuff from there, quality prices, the cards are in amazing shape, and it's just trusted source for your Yu-Gi-Oh needs, and the Tokusatsu Corner is an official supporter of Game On, because when you game hard, you game on, and also, if you have a Twitter, Follow the Tokusatsu Corner on Twitter. We post every now and then. We haven't posted in a while, but I promise we will be posting on Twitter more often. And check out our individual YouTube pages. Check out the page you're currently on, Nathan Gray's 99, for the Tokusatsu Corner and various Let's Plays. Check out Nightshade's channel at youtube.com slash nightshade04 for his common Rider fan dubs. Speaking of which, I will be posting some Deno uh, fan dubs coming soon, hopefully. I uh, just need to find some people to play the last two riders. Uh, Sword and Rod. And check out Light's page at xlato9x for his parodies and bridge series and such. And check out his other YouTube, Pacey White Coder, for computers, for computer coding stuff, as well as the Common Rider O's Android app, and if you have any questions, suggestions, anything in particular, send us an email at tokusatsucorner at gmail.com with your YouTube username included. And we're also going to be taking song, song requests from now on, so you can also send your song requests to tokusatsucorner at gmail.com. And also, check out the new home for our audio podcasts tokusatsucorner.podbean.com I will be updating the old shows onto the new site and you can listen to them directly on the site or you can download them and put them on your mp3 player iPhone, whatever you have and we're also on, I we're also on iTunes, go over there give us 5 stars, give us a good review spread the word about the corner tell your friends about the Tokusatsu Corner because we want to get more exposure, we want to entertain even more of you guys. Not that we already love the fans that we have, but we want to expand our audiences to other tokusatsu lovers up, out there. And we've come to the final stretch of the show. And the only thing left to do is the Tokusatsu Corner Trivia. And this time it's going to be Super Sentai related. And the question is... Out of the 35 year history of Super Sentai, how many Blue Rangers were girls? Now, 
I want to know how many there were and what series they were from. And you can send that over at tokusatsukorner at gmail.com or just private message them to us on YouTube. And we have come to, to an end to the first show of 2012. And it was a bit rocky, but it's to be expected when you're out of practice for so long. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep it going for the new year. And again, we want to thank you for listening to the Tokusatsu Corner, your 45-minute to 90-minute dose of Tokusatsu. And remember to keep on keep on fighting the good fight. Keep this an open and free internet. And we'll be seeing you again next week. And Light will be joining us next week because he'll be back from his honeymoon. But awesome. Anyway, for the Tokusatsu Corner, I'm Nathan Graves 989. And I'm Nightshade. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>